Today's micro moment is about how we can vacuum seal off grid if we ever need to and if we just plain want to. Uh, Jim and I just got back from a four day weekend up uh, in the northern part of the state where they have marvelous stores and I was able to get this uh, five pound package of uh, Parmesan and Romano grated cheese. Well, um, I've got to put it into smaller jars. Uh, and then we will keep the others in the refrigerator until we get ready to use them. And I want to vacuum seal them. <clears throat> so I have here um, a brake bleeder. And I know there are dozens of YouTube channels who have talked about brake bleeders before. But uh, this is really quite an exciting little piece of equipment that not only can you use it automotively, but you can also use it in your kitchen to do off-grid vacuum sealing. So it has this little vacuum pump and a dial to let you know the pressure rate is as you go. It needs a hose. Oh, how handy. They have two hoses right here. And so this one goes right here. All the way to the end. And then we will need to use our food saver lid attachments, but not the hose from the food saver. This will be our hose. Now, since these are wide mouth jars, cute little squatty pints, I'm going to be using previously used wide mouth lids. There we go. And put this right here. Okay, now we need something to go here. And uh, among the attachments are these two little nozzles. And so this nozzle goes in the other end. Just like that. Now I'm going to put this aside so that you can see what I'm doing here. Now there's no, um, I have to hold this straight up and down because it's loose and it will fall out. So with one hand I'm going to grasp the little handle and it just goes like this and makes the vacuum. And then with the other hand, I'm going to hold this. And so um, I'm going to keep pumping until it gets up between 15 and 20. Now, it may be difficult if you have, um, if your hands are not really strong, <clears throat> because as the vacuum settles in to the jar, this gets more and more difficult uh, to push. And I'm getting it right now. Okay, by putting it on the countertop, I can kind of help myself because I can push against the countertop. And there's no way to tell when it's all the way done. When it holds between 15 and 20, that's going to be about right. Okay, and it went when I took that off. So it should be sealed. And it is perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to put the band on. This one is ready. We'll do one more on camera. Clean, previously used, the attachment. The attachment has to be completely level. Hold with one hand and pump with the other. Ooh, I'm at five. Ten. Oh, yay. Twenty. That was fast. Perfect. So this is a handy dandy little gadget. A gadget. And uh, very useful in times when either the grid is down or you just want to do a quick couple of jars. The only thing that this will work with is jars with the jar attachment. We got this on Amazon for $22. I, th I think you can also get them at Harbor Freight. They're under $25 regardless of where you get them. So they're very handy to have. Um, these jar attachments with the hose that goes to a regular a vacuum sealer is about $25 on Amazon. And these are the Food Saver brand jar lid attachments. So that's it. That is our quick micro moment for today. Thanks for being with us.